You wanna learn how to make this? Let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I am your content cleric. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own health bar overlay in Canva for free, so let's get to it. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I make these videos just like this live on stream. I take in your recommendations. This video itself is actually a recommendation from a Twitch viewer. So if you'd like to add in some input or just ask questions, see how we do this live, twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. So the very first thing you're gonna need is, well, a Canva account. Second thing you're gonna need is these templates that I have made. Uh, so these are actually custom made. I had to make them myself and import them in. And so unfortunately, the only way that you're gonna be able to do this is with my template, but don't worry, I've linked it down below so you can go and download it and go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So go ahead and get that taken care of, get it downloaded. Once you have them, let's jump in. Okay, so to start off with right now, we have a template for Apex Legends. We have Warzone and we have Fortnite no builds, but I'm fairly certain that this template will work with regular builds as well. I would just put my avatar right here. We'll talk about the avatar here in a few minutes, uh, but I would just place them right over the side and I think you're good to go. But if you guys have a suggestion or you would like to see something else added, added here, health bar that I missed, let me know. I looked into a few other ones and they seem very specific to the character that you play. And so I wasn't able to do those, but if you have a request, put it down in the comments and I'll do my best to get it, okay? So we're gonna go and jump in and I'm gonna make an Apex Legends one because, well, Apex is a game that I actually play quite a bit. I've been playing a lot of no builds lately, but uh, I do love Apex. So I think we're gonna stick with this. And I think it's a really interesting looking health bar. And so it's kind of fun to dive into. So what I would do is once you figure out which one you want, go ahead and just delete the rest. Eh, Cause you're not really gonna need them. I would also delete this and, and maybe even the background, but I'm gonna keep the background in for now just for contrast. And I went ahead and moved this down to the bottom just to give myself some room to work. So the very first thing you're gonna do is figure out what you want to be your background. Now, this is gonna be dependent on your brand. And so if you have a particular image that you use, maybe it's, I don't know, your wallpaper that, that people recognize uh, or something like that, go ahead and use that. If not, you can go right here to photos and, and find a photo. These are some of the ones that I've recently used. So you can see easily enough, you grab something, drag it in, double click, bring it down. I, I, would, I would never use this photo. I was just using this as an example. You could do that. Uh, this is the one we're gonna be going with today, but I wanna show you another trick before we use that specific one. Uh, one thing you can do, if you go into videos here, you can actually put a video in here. I'll show you the best videos to use is if you just search loop, just like this. Now all of these videos will perfectly loop, so you don't have to worry about there being a cut in the video. Um, now, as you can see, almost all of these are pro videos, so if you go this route, you can go ahead and use my link in the description down below that'll get you 30 to 45 days of free Canva Pro. It's supposed to be upgraded to a 45 day link, but I'm not sure if that's done yet, so it'll get you at the very least 30 days of Canva Pro. Then you could grab any of these that you want. I actually really liked like the look of this, or, or let's say this one right here. Um, and once you have this in here, I liked how kind of slow it moves, but you can also go over here to edit video. You can go and look through these filters and if you want to change it up any, you know, make it black and white or bring out the colors even more, jump into your filters, go into your adjustments, you know, bring down the brightness and, and up the contrast. And I just, I, you know, kind of adjust this and make it look exactly how you want. You have that complete freedom to do so. Uh, for me, for this particular one, I'm going to use a photo because I really like the way this came out, but that is definitely an option. But again, most of the loop videos, if not all of them require Camera Pro, but hey, I got you covered. It's down in the description below. Uh, but I'm just gonna grab this photo here. And if you wanna find what I used, I just typed in, I think, dark background. And it was one of these. You could obviously use like this rock texture, which is actually really cool or I don't know, something like this. It, this is your brand, you know what kind of fits you. Um, I'm gonna go back with the one that I just had. I just, I kind of thought it looked cool and we're gonna do some adjustments to it too. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit image right here and I'm going to go to adjust and I'm gonna bring my brightness down because I don't want it to be super like overwhelming. Uh, and so I'm gonna bring my contrast up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna come around here to blur and I'm actually gonna blur that background just a little bit because I don't want it to be the focal point. Okay, 
So now that we have that done, the very next thing I'm gonna do is choose my avatar, right? Uh, now, if you have a, a Canva logo, or if you have a logo rather, if you have like a mascot logo, you could absolutely use it. So if I wanted to create my own, and you know, I've suggested you guys not do this before, but if you wanted to go and create your own mascot logo, you could definitely do that and use, you know, any of these shapes, any of these characters, like adorable right there. Um, you can absolutely access these and, and use this, but if you already have a logo, um, you could throw it on there. I could use my own logo if I go right here to uploads and just search logo. I can absolutely grab my, you know, Dr. Heels D and you notice how it puts it in there. If you hold down control, it will not try to drop it in there. So Lego control, it drops it in, hold down control and it doesn't. So, I mean, I could absolutely, you know, do something like, oh, do something like this and, and go that route. I don't want to. I'm gonna actually use a character and the character I'm gonna use is Lifeline. And so I'll show you how to do this real quick. Go ahead and open up Google's at Google and I'm gonna search Lifeline Apex Legends PNG. Now you could put in whatever you want. If you're doing a Fortnite, um, you could go with a Fortnite skin PNG, something like that. But I'm just gonna search for Lifeline and I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna find a good photo. And this is the one I ended up using, but I could choose any of these that I want or, you know, Pathfinder here. But for now, let's go ahead and go with this lifeline. I'm looking at the sizes here and this one looks like pretty good sized. So I would save this image uh, and then I would bring it over and import it into Canva. I'm not gonna do that because I already have the image there. So I'm just gonna go back to uploads, erase logo, and right here is the image I'm gonna be working with. So if I didn't have it, I would save it and then I would just drag the image into here and it would be done. Once you have your image that you wanna use in, um, you can size it if you want to. Before I do too much though, I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit image and I will go to the background remover, which this right here, if you're doing this route is pro, but again, I got you covered. Check out the description for that uh, free trial. All right, let's go ahead, background remover this bad boy. It's probably gonna do pretty good because there is a white background. The more simple the background, the better it's gonna do, but I find that the Canva background remover does really good no matter what. So now I'm going to apply and I am just going to size Lifeline up to how I want her to fit. And again, if she tries to snap here, I can hold down control, but as long as I move her like this, that won't be an issue. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to scale this up something like this, drag her over where she kind of fits right here. And I may let her belt right there kind of pop outside the frame. And I could absolutely do it just like this and, and call it done. But I'm gonna show you a trick at the end of the video if you want your logo placed like this and it actually cut out the logo, kind of mask out the logo. I'm gonna show you that at the end if you want to do that. If not, just whenever I finish this tutorial, you're done. Uh, but if you wanna see that, I'll show that th at the end. Uh, but for now, we will just place our character like this and try to line it up just the best we can. It's gonna be very small on the screen. I think if there's a little discrepancy, no one will see it. Um, and then I may actually size her up a little bit more this way. Uh, Cause I, I really want her to kind of be dominant on the screen. Um, you may not want to cover this part of your health bar. I, I, it, I'm trust me, when I'm playing Apex, if my health is that low, I'm dead anyway, it, it doesn't matter. So there we go. Just like that, we have that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our text or our name. Uh, so you can just click T and, and type out your text and do it that way or you can go right here under text and look through these templates that's kind of already been made for you. So a lot of these are using Canvas text effects uh, and I actually think they're really good. And so I would probably, if I didn't already have like a logo or a font, I would go through and find one of these. I think this you're getting into uh, more like document text stuff. We're not really for that, but we're looking for this stuff. Um, and the one that I found is this one right here. And, and so I really kind of like the way that this came out. And, and so what I may do is take it just like this and type out my name. I love how the L kind of drops down. I don't, I don't know, it, 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 it's cool, right? And once I have it kind of like this, I may, I may not bring it all the way down here. I may not drop it in this little space. I may break some design rules and let it break the boundaries of the box because I think it looks cool, right? It's all about what you think looks cool. I'm gonna have, grab that green, I'm gonna make it white. And for this color to affect that color, I'm going to have to click into my effects tab. You can see it has the splice effect. I could remove this and add any other effect I wanted to, but I like this effect. And I really don't want to mess with these settings because I like how they look. But I'm going to grab that color and I'm going to go to my color picker 
and I'm gonna click this little color picker to take a color from the design. And I wanna grab this blue right here that is inside of Lifeline's uh, bandana. I think that looks really good. I think that's a cool look. Um, we could obviously adjust sizing, mess with it how we want, and we could do that. That's an easy way to add a text effect. For me, for my brand, I do like to go a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna do my own text. I'm gonna go uh, and just type in Dr. Heels, right th like this with, uh, with a custom font or I'm sorry, not a custom font in, in just regular font. And then I'm gonna change the font uh, to Horizon. I, I really like this font. I think it looks good. I'm gonna kind of oversize my text and I'm gonna have it come a, across, hori or across Horizon. The font is called Horizon, but I'm not playing Horizon. I'm playing Lifeline. I'm gonna have it come across Lifeline. I'm going to change the color to white. And then what I really wanna do is I'm going to go to effects and I'm gonna add a shadow. Uh, I don't like the white shadow. I'm gonna go with a black shadow. And then we're gonna adjust that shadow a little bit. I wanna make sure there's a quite a bit of blur on it. I also wanna bump that transparency. I want it to be dense that it's there. Adjust my direction just a little bit, offset it a little bit more just to make my text pop up. I think you're able to see that. I think that looks very good. And so that's the direction I'm gonna go here. But guys, we are not done because we're gonna dress this up even more than it is already. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our elements and I'm specifically looking for uh, something to dress this up with. And, and I really like the way that lightning looks, but you could go obviously with, with fire if you wanted to. If fire kind of fits your branding, I wanna go with graphics so we can kind of grab this. You can also see it, it would not be hard. Um, you know, I could use something like this um, and, and obviously place it uh, behind Lifeline. I could even come into edit image and, and adjust my colors. With Duotone, I should be able to make this like completely blue or purple or, or really, you know, however I want it to look, right? Um, but that's, that's not the direction we're gonna go. Ooh, we could do this one right here. Did y'all see that? Look at that with the two colors, that looks good. Uh, another little trick that someone reminded me that I taught them uh, and completely forgot about is if you wanna select an object behind another one with that object select, if you hold down control and click again, it'll select the back object. And so then I can just delete it out like that. So let's go ahead and back into here and search for lightning. And I really liked it, this one, I think looked really cool. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it behind Lifeline. I'm gonna hold it right here, hold down Alt and, and size it up like this and then position it backwards behind Lifeline. If from here, I could even like twist it if I wanted it to come out at a little bit different angle. But yeah, I think that looks really clean. And then I wanna use this one right here which I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna click see all and see if there's any that has a little bit of color. I wish they, they had a little color to them, right? And and we could easily grab something like this and, and I'm just kind of toying around with it, but we could adjust it uh, to fit over here to be coming off our name or, you know, anywhere that you wanted to go. Remember, hold down control so it doesn't pop into there uh, and kind of size it if we wanted to give it a, a, a location it's coming from, maybe I place it right here. Oh, look at that. So we could even have lightning kind of coming across this is again, this is this is where you get to go wild, right? You get to have a lot of fun with this. And I'm going to place this obviously behind um, and, and then we can kind of do some stuff like this. And what we can do is we can begin to dress up our design and, and really make it our own and, and very quickly have something that looks really, really cool. OK, so now I, I went ahead and told you that I would show you a tip at the end. This is the end. So if this is all you needed, hey, it is done. Export, go ahead and delete this background. Or uh, if you're using a completely free account, which I told you, you can do this for free, uh, go ahead and make that background a bright, bright green. Um, now, if you're using green in your design, this may not work because, you know, green screen gets tricky when you're using green. But make that a bright green so that it hurts your eyes. Then you're just going to uh, download it right here as a JPEG, which is probably the only option you have. Uh, then download it and you'll pull it into OBS and you're gonna add a chroma key module to it. I have a lot of videos on how to do that, so just check out my channel. Uh, if, you have if you have trouble with that, leave me a comment down below and I'll link to you a video on how to do that. But if you have a pro account or you redeem that free trial down there, uh, go and delete the background and all you have to do is download it as a PNG with a transparent background and you're done. You're done at this point, right? Then throw it in OBS, uh, open up a game or a screenshot of Apex uh, and size it down where it needs to go and, and set it and forget it, right? But let's say you wanted to, uh, I'm gonna go back to that so I have a background there. But let's say that your your mascot is, is larger or you want your mascot to be more on this side so you can see more of your health bar, right? Move that right there. Okay, so let me show you a trick. 
get your subject size how you want. Now, one thing I want you to watch out for, you see how Lifeline's bun is cut off up there? I don't want that. So I'm gonna tab, tap the down arrow to bring her down where that's not cut off. But then I'm gonna control C to copy her. I'm gonna add a page and control V to paste her into this page. Don't touch a thing, we're gonna save her right there. So now that I have her right there, make sure the background is completely empty, delete whatever's there, hit share, hit download, go to PNG, transparent background. We don't want all pages. All we want is page two, right? All we want is our second page. And so go ahead and click done and download to download the second page. By the way, guys, if you're still here and you're getting value out of this bonus tip, do a hashtag bonus tip down in the comments so that everybody reading the comments can be like, wait, what was the bonus tip? And they're gonna come back and watch it. And that's just gonna help me and I appreciate it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna save it as whatever, uh, cause I don't care that much. Uh, my computer's not organized to ADHD for that. Um, and so I then we'll go over here to my uploads and I will find that image that we just saved. I'll drag that image in right here. It will take it just a moment to upload. So while that is uploading, we're gonna go ahead and do another step. Now, this is the image we're gonna use. We can see I've done this a couple times now, um, but I, I always do it again with the correct sizing of the one previous. So next thing we're gonna do is select this little bar here, the, the health bar itself, Control C, Control V. Uh, and I'm just going to resize it so it matches perfectly back on top of the other one. Okay, so now let's drag in our new image and I'm going to move it over here so it doesn't try to replace her. And I'm gonna actually put her on this health bar, just like that, okay. Now, what we're gonna do it, from this point is drag it up and we're gonna try to match up perfectly with the other one. And you can see this may take some toying around to get perfect. Okay. And just like that, we are done. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take this lifeline and this is the one on the outside. Remember, this is the one on the outside. Control C, I'm gonna grab right here and I'm going to crop her out to right here, okay? Right? And then I'm going to grab, this is the one with the body on it and I'm going to position it to the back so that my text comes back over the top. And just like that, we have now created a mask. I'm gonna click off. Okay, maybe I'm the only one that does this, but I literally ended the recording and realized that I made a mistake. So you may like the way this looks, right? Um, right here, if you noticed, whenever I, I, I created this, the issue that I had is it actually puts, uh, it actually cuts out the edge of her, her icon out of this health bar area. And I don't want this. I don't want the health bar cut out. I think that for me, it breaks the immersion of what I'm going for. And so let me show you uh, uh, how to fix that if you have the same issue. So I'm gonna go and adjust my mask down below the second health bar. And then I'm just gonna bring the mask in from this side now. And just like that, it's fixed. It is cut off right here and she still is covering this part of the health bar. To me, that just looks better, but again, if you prefer, uh, you may prefer for the health bar to be, you know, the dominant thing there, and that to be what is visible, and if that is the case, just do just like I did, just, just bring your mask up above that health bar. But again, if you don't want it to be, just bring it below and cut in from the left side, or the right side, depending on what template you're working with. We've created a mask, minimize this over, uh, that is now cutting out from the lifeline by the shape. Now you can use this for a lot of different things. Um, and, and you can kind of tell it looking at it. I don't know. I don't know. Looking at it, I can't really tell where the cut is or anything. And so I think that that is good. So that is just a little bonus tip. You can use this tip to do a lot of different things. Um, one little tip that I'll give you if you're still here, because I'm just now noticing things, um, is I'm going to size this whole thing down just a little bit because my lightning, was out of frame. And so if my lightning is out of frame, it will have a blunt cut when I export it. But just like that, my avatar is now masked to the inside of this shape. And so you can kind of see there's her body uh, and you can see where the mask is. And so I hope that made sense. I hope you got value from that. Guys, I really do appreciate you watching this video. And remember, uh, whatever you make, if you make something really cool and really creative, do me a favor, join my Discord. It is linked down below as well. Join the Discord and share it in the Share Your Art channel. It inspires me an absolute ton to see what you guys are making using these tutorials. But hey, I appreciate you and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye now.